everybody. So today I'm going to show you how to make the Ninja Turtles. This is what they're going to look like. I'm going to be using purple today, so I'll be making Donatello. This is going to be a two-part tutorial. So today you're going to see in this part one is we're going to learn how to make just the body. The second part, I will be showing you how to make all the pieces that you see. For this, the supplies that you're going to need is about 1,280 green. Pick the color that you'd like to use, so whichever turtle that you're making. Um, there's about 103 bands you're going to need. You're going to need 269 bands for the back of the shell and the belt, 83 bands for the front, two white bands for the eyes, and I'm going to use two 4 millimeter black pony beads. If you don't have the pony beads, um, use the bands that you'd like to use. You're also going to use just your hook, you're going to need a stitch marker, and you're going to need some stuffing to fill it. So I do hope you enjoy, and let's get started. Round one of the legs. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you how to do one, and then you're going to pause the video and make yourself another one. I'm going to start off with the magic circle and I'm going to do six single crochets. I'm going to be using the bottom part of my loom, so turn it around. You're going to take a single band and wrap it around one of the pegs three times. One, two, and three. With your hook, Reach in, grab your first band, and bring it through, and you're going to put it on your hook as if you're doing a slip knot. Bring your band over, and bring this to the side. Go back in, do the same thing. You're going to bring it through on your hook, and you'll have three bands, three little loops. Bring two over, and bring it to the side. Go back in and repeat your third band, two loops over. Back in, bring it through, bring two loops over. Go back in for your fifth band, bring it through, on your hook, and two loops over. Bring it to the side. And back in for your last, bring two loops over, and I'm going to attach my stitch marker to the band that's around my hook. You can remove off the loom. You're going to move your bands around so that they're nice and even and you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. Round two of the leg, what we're going to do is increase on every stitch. So you're going to add two bands to each chain going around one at a time. You're going to repeat this six times. So I'm going to go in my first chain, adding two rubber bands one at a time. So bring it through, on your hook, and slide. Go back in that same chain and add your second rubber band. At the end of round two, you will have 12 stitches. Your next chain with two, one at a time. Back in. Your next chain with two. Go back in and slide. Repeat in the next chain. Back in. Next chain. Back in. And your last chain. Back in. You should have 12 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 is on your hook. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band. Round 3 of the leg, this is what the pattern is going to look like. We are going to add one band to the first three chains, 1, 2, and 3. And then in the next six chains, you're going to add two bands one at a time. Your last three chains is going to be one band in each. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go in the first three with one. So this is the first chain, one. 
one in the next, one in the third. Now in the next six chains, you're going to add two bands. Back in. This is the second chain with two bands. Back in. The third chain with two bands. Back in. The fourth, back in, the fifth, and the sixth. Now you'll have three chains left, one, two, and three. You're going to add one band. and one in the last. You should have 18 stitches going around. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round four of the leg, I'm just going to single crochet in each chain around. So you're gonna add one band to each chain. I have 18 bands, so at the end of round, <coughs> sorry, at the end of round four, you'll have 18 stitches. I am just going to be grabbing the inside loop. So I'm going to go through the first chain, just the inside loop. So I'm not going to go through both. I'm just going to grab the one that's closest to the center. And I'm going to bring one band through. The next chain, same thing, all the way around, just grabbing the inside loop. Inside. You're just going to continue the same thing till you hit the stitch marker. So this is what you should have. For rounds five and six, we're just gonna add one band to each chain. Each of my piles has 18 bands, so we're going to end up with 18 stitches when we're done. I'm gonna do round five with you, and then you're gonna pause the video to do round six. I will be grabbing the both chains um, going around, so the whole chain. I'm just gonna move my stitch marker. So I'm going to go through the loop and adding one band. The next chain with one. The next. You're just going to continue this all the way around, grabbing the, the both loops. If at any point in time I'm going too fast, please pause the video and come back to me when you're done.
and the last. So you have 18 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and pause the video and continue round six. For round seven of the leg, um, I don't know how to lay out the pattern for you, but this is what we're going to do. Each line represents one stitch. I'm going to do one single crochet in the first three chains, so let's just do that for now. So go in the first chain with one. Your second chain with one. And your third chain with one. Now I'm going to take four and five and stitch together. So I'm going to decrease. And I'm going to decrease on the next six times. So I'm going to go in chains four and five and stitch together. Four and five. Bring elastic through. One chain. Your second chain. Push the bottom of this foot to the center of that band. Grab the end. Oops. Grab the end and bring it through. Now I'm going to stitch six and seven together. So six and seven stitch together. Bring your band through, move the bottom of the foot with your finger just to relieve some of the tension. I'm going to do eight and nine and stitch together. Go through chain eight and chain nine and stitch together. Bring it through Grab the end. Now I'm going to do 10 and 11 and stitch together. So 10 and 11. Grab the end. I'm going to do 12 and 13 now. So 12 and 13. Grab the band and bring it through. Now 14 and 15. We're going to stitch together. Bring it through, and you should see three chains left. You're just going to add one band to each of those chains. So one, that was chain 16, and the last. You should have 12 stitches. Don't count where the stitch marker is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Remove your stitch marker. Round 8 of the leg, you're just going to add one band to each chain around. 1, 1, 1, 1, all the way around. You're going to use 12 bands, so you're going to end up with 12 stitches. So going in the first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and bring one band through and slide. Continue on your next with one. One. All the way around. Remove your stitch marker. For rounds nine, I am going to decrease this round to 10 stitches. This is going to be the pattern. You're going to do a single band in the first four chains. One, 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 one. Then you're gonna take five and six and stitch together, seven and eight and stitch together, one, 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 one in the last four. So going in the first chain with one, the second with one, your third with one, 
and your fourth with one. Now you're going to take five and six and stitch together, decrease five and six. Bring a band through, push. Now seven and eight, stitch together. Now one band in the last four chains. One, your next chain, one, next, one, and your last with one. You should have ten stitches. Remove your stitch marker. For rounds 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, you're just going to add one band to each chain around. So each of my piles has 10 bands, so at the end of each round you should have 10 stitches. When you get to the last band, you're going to do a slip knot, which I'll show you in a second. I'm going to do round 10 with you, and then you're going to pause the video to complete the rounds. So I'm going to go in my first chain and bring one band through. So add a band in your next chain, the next chain with one, and then just continue until you reach your stitch marker. You can stuff this at any time. I will be stuffing the body parts um, once I complete them all. I don't really like to crochet with the stuffing in the way. So before you pause, you just want it when you get to your last band, just bring it through and you're going to pull it through all of the loops that are on your hook to tie it closed. And that's when you get here. So please pause the video and complete the rounds. Round one of the arms. I'm going to do two with you, so no need to rewind. I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom, so turn it upside down, and we're going to do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you're going to bring six bands through one at a time. Just as we did when we were making the leg, bring it to the side. Little slip knot. Our next, bring it through. You have three loops. Bring these two over and bring it to the side. Go back in for your third band. Bring it through. Bring the two loops over and bring it to the side. Back in for your fourth, two loops over and to the side. Your fifth, two loops over, back in for your last, your sixth, two loops over and attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook. Remove and you just want to fix so it's nice and even. You have six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. Round two of the arm, we're going to add two bands to each chain going around. So you're going to end up with 12 stitches when you're done round two. Going in your first chain, you're going to add two rubber bands one at a time. Back in. So you're increasing on this round on every stitch. Your next chain, two rubber bands back in. Your next chain, back in. And just repeat.
You should have 12 stitches going around. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band. For rounds three and rounds four, we're just going to add one band to each chain going around. One, 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 all the way around. Each pile I have 12 bands, so at the end of both of these rounds you should have 12 stitches. Going in my first chain with one. Repeat, one in the next, one in the next, one in the next. So just continue all the way around. Please pause the video and complete rounds four and then come back. For rounds five of the arm, we're going to decrease on every second and third stitch. So the pattern is one, two, and three together. One, two, and three together. You're going to repeat this four times. At the end of round five, you will have eight stitches. So I'm going to go through chain one, not where it's getting pulled and bringing one band through. Now ch take chain two and chain three and stitch together. Repeat one, two, and three together. Again, one, two and three and you're going to repeat one more time one two and three should have eight stitches for round six to rounds 13 of the arm, we're just going to single crochet in each chain around. So the pattern is one, 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 all the way around. Each pile has eight bands, so at the end of each round you should have eight stitches. Your last band, you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed, and I have one example here that I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to go through chain my first chain, this is round six and bring it through. The next chain with one. So just continue going around with one band in each chain. Can remove your stitch marker and before you pause when you get to your last band you're gonna go through your last chain and you're gonna bring a band through all of the bands that are around your hook and do a slip knot please pause the video and complete the rounds and then come back to me when you're done I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom, so turn it upside down, and we're going to do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you're going to bring six bands through one at a time. Just as we did when we were making the leg, bring it to the side. Little slip knot. Our next, bring it through. You have three loops, bring these two over and bring it to the side. Go back in for your third band, bring it through, bring the two loops over 
and bring it to the side. Back in for your fourth, two loops over and to the side. Your fifth, two loops over, back in for your last, your sixth, two loops over and attach your stitch marker to the band that's around your hook. Remove and you just want to fix so it's nice and even. You have six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. Round two of the arm, we're going to add two bands to each chain going around. So you're going to end up with 12 stitches when you're done round two. Going in your first chain, you're going to add two rubber bands one at a time. Back in. So you're increasing on this round, on every stitch. Your next chain, two rubber bands back in. Your next chain, back in. And just repeat. You should have 12 stitches going around. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band. For rounds three and rounds four, we're just gonna add one band to each chain going around. One, 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 all the way around. Each pile I have 12 bands, so at the end of both of these rounds you should have 12 stitches. Going in my first chain with one. Repeat, one in the next, one in the next, one in the next. So just continue all the way around. Please pause the video and complete rounds four and then come back. For rounds five of the arm, we're going to decrease on every second and third stitch. So the pattern is one, two, and three together. One, two, and three together. You're going to repeat this four times. At the end of round five, you will have eight stitches. So I'm going to go through chain one, not where it's getting pulled and bringing one band through. Now ch take chain two and chain three and stitch together. Repeat, one, two, and three together. Again, one, two and three and you're going to repeat one more time one two and three should have eight stitches for round six to rounds 13 of the arm, we're just going to single crochet in each chain around. So the pattern is one, 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 all the way around. Each pile has eight bands, so at the end of each round you should have eight stitches. Your last band, you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed, and I have one example here that I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to go through chain my first chain, 
this is round six, and bring it through. The next chain with one. So just continue going around with one band in each chain. Remove your stitch marker. And before you pause, when you get to your last band, you're going to go through your last chain and you're going to bring a band through all of the bands that are around your hook and do a slip knot. Please pause the video and complete the rounds and then come back to me when you're done. I'm going to start to sew the body now. But before I do, I think it would be a better choice if we stuff the legs now. So I've stuffed one, and I'm going to use my pencil to help me out. So I'm just going to grab some stuffing and put it in. And with my pencil, I'm going to push it to the tip of the toes. And then I'm going to fill the leg. Don't put too much, don't overstuff. So you may want to pause the video now and do the other leg. So I'm going to start off the body and you're going to put your two legs together. It doesn't matter which way. and maybe your slip knots are going to be in a different spot than mine. So it's just, it's going to be the same thing. You have 10 stitches, 10 stitches. So we're going to sew them together. So you're going to use 20 bands. With your hook, you're going to start, if you put your legs together, you're going to see two stitches to the side. I'm going to go through one. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other leg. In the center of the leg, you're going to see the two stitches. So I'm going to go through the one that's below. And I'm going to bring a band through. And then I'm going to grab the next two stitches and bring a band through. And then I'm going to go around. So if you just go through, grab one band, bring it through, all of the loops, grab the end, and slide. Now right, right above it, I'm going to go through one leg and then the other leg. Okay, so you're going to see five little loops on your hook. You're going to bring a band through. But I'm just going to bring it through the loops on the legs. So now I'm going to have three loops on and I'm going to slide. Now I'm going to start to go around so I'm going to go through the loop, the next loop, and bring a band through on my hook and slide. And just continue the next and slide, the next and slide, the next. And slide. I just used my sixth band. Continue. What was the eighth? Nine. This is my tenth. And 11 on the leg. Now I'm going to go to the next leg here, the 12th. Watch your slip knots. 
the next next and one more and you're going to attach your stitch marker now to the band that's around your hook so you're going to see 20 stitches. For round two, what we're going to do is increase on every fifth stitch. So the pattern is one, 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 two. You're going to repeat this four times and at the end of round two you'll have 24 stitches. I've just brought my slip knot through so you can just do that if you wish because it might be in your way so just grab the sti um, slip knot and just pull it through and you can do that to the other one now I'm gonna get started I'm going to be going okay where my hook is being pulled so where my band is being pulled I'm not going through that stitch I'm going through the stitch that it's connected to and I'm gonna pull my first band through so this is one. Now I'm going to start on the leg here. So this is, I'm going to go through here as two. The next one is three. And then the next is your fourth stitch. And then you're going to add two in the next. Back in, and your next. You're going to repeat, I mean. One, 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 and then two. and repeat the pattern two more times. Four single crochets followed by an increase. And repeat. So now you should have 24 stitches going around. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. For rounds 3 to rounds 9, we're just going to add one band to each chain going around. So you, I have 24 bands in each pile and at the end of each round you'll have 24 stitches. I'm going to do one round with you and then you're going to pause the video and come back to me when you've completed. So I'm going to go in my first chain, so it's right in the center here, and add one band. And now just continue going around adding one band to each chain around.
I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and you can pause the video and come back to me. Round 10 of the body, we are going to start to decrease. So the pattern is going to be four single crochets and then five and six together. One, 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 five and six together. You're going to repeat this four times. So at the end of this round, you'll have 20 stitches. Going in the first with one, one in the next, one, one, five, and six together. Push the body to the center of that band to relieve tension and repeat. One, 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 five and six together. Repeat this two more times. You can remove your stitch marker. For rounds 11 and rounds 12, we're just going to add one band to each chain around. So I have 20 bands in each pile, and at the end of these rounds, you'll have 20 stitches. So I'm going to do rounds 11 with you. So I'm just going to add one band in each chain going around. Then you're going to pause the video to do rounds 12 and come back to me when you're done. If you were looming, I would just loom like with it flat, but I just want you to see, so I'm holding it up. You can remove your stitch marker, pause the video, and continue rounds 12. For round 13, we're going to make this smaller, so at the end of this round we'll have 15 stitches. The pattern is going to be 1, 1, 3, and 4 together. 1, 1, 3, and 4 together. You're going to repeat this 5 times. So my first chain with 1. Chain two with one. Now take three and four and stitch together. Repeat. One. 
one, three, and four together. Repeat. One, one, three, and four. And two more times. You can remove your stitch marker. For rounds 14, we're just going to add a single band in each chain around. So I'm going to use 15 bands, and at the end of this round, you'll have 15 stitches. Going in my first chain, adding one. One in the next. One. So just continue all the way to your stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker, and we just have one more round to do, and then the body will be complete. For round 15 of the body, um, the pattern is going to be 1, 1, 1, 4, and 5 together. 1, 1, 1, 4, and 5 together. You're going to repeat this three times. Then with the last band, we're going to do a slip knot to close it. So going in your first chain, one band. You're next with one. Next, one. So you just did three single crochets. Take chain four and chain five and stitch together. And just repeat. One, I think I said four single crochets. You only did three. My apologies. Two, three, four, and five together. Repeat. One, one. One, four, and five together. Slip knot. So bring it through all of the bands that are on your hook, grab the other end, and tie it off. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And I'm going to get some stuffing and we're going to fill it. I'm going to get a little bit more. Make sure you get in the leg area. Don't overfill it.
round one of the head. I'm going to use the bottom part of my loom and I'm going to do six single crochets in the magic ring. So I'm going to take a single band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, three. With your hook, reach in and pull your first band through like you're doing a slip knot on your hook and you want to slide the band over and bring it to the side. Go back in with your second band, bring through, grab the other end on your hook and bring your two bands over. Bring it to the side. Back in for your third band on your hook and two bands over. Bring it to the side. Go back in. Bring your two bands over and bring it to the side. Go back in for your fifth on your hook and bring your two bands over. And your last band. Bring your two bands over. I'm going to attach my stitch marker and remove it off the loom. Move your bands around so that they're nice and even and you should have six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six is on your hook. Round two of the head, I'm going to add two bands to each chain that's going around. So two, 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 and two one at a time. Going in your first chain, add one rubber band, slide, and go back in and add your second on your hook and slide. Your next chain with two on your hook, go back in, and then just continue this all the way around. You're going to increase this round, and at the end of round two, you'll have 12 stitches. Back in, add the next chain, back in, the next, back in, and the last. Back in. So you should have 12 stitches. You're going to remove the stitch marker and just move your bands around. Round three of the head, I'm going to increase on every second stitch. So the pattern is one, two, one, two, one, two, all the way around. You're going to repeat this six times and at the end of round three you'll have 18 stitches. Going in my first chain with one. My second chain will have two. Back in. And repeat. One in the next. And then two. Back in. and repeat. One, next chain with two, back in, and continue this pattern all the way around. You have 18 stitches. For round four of the head, we're going to increase again and we're going to increase on every third stitch. So the pattern is one, one, two, one, one, two. You're going to repeat this six times. At the end of round four, you'll have 24 stitches. Going in my first chain with one. Chain two with one. 
and then we're going to increase so we're adding two bands one at a time on your third chain back in and repeat one one two and repeat one one, two, back in, repeat, one, one, two, continue all the way till you hit your stitch marker. In. You should have 24 stitches. For rounds 5, 6, and 7, you're just going to add one band to each chain around. One, 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 all the way around. So each pile has 24 elastics. So at the end of each of these rounds, you'll have 24 stitches. I'm going to do round 5 with you, and then you're going to pause the video to do round 6 and 7. So just adding one band to each chain around. You can remove your stitch marker, pause the video now, and complete the next two rounds, and then come back to me when you're done. For round eight of the head, I'm just going to add one band to each chain around, one, 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 all the way around. But on chains 11 and chain 15, I'm going to add the eyes. So it's up to you what you're using. The bands are the beads. I'm going to show you how to do the bands just in case. So you're going to push your elastic up here with the head and you're going to take a single band for your eye color and you're going to wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to slide this onto a white band. Pinch and slide. And there's one eye and the other. Wrap four times. One, two, three, and four. And slide this onto a white band. Remove. And there's your other eye. With the beads, all you're doing is just squeezing the rubber band and push it through the bead. And you can do that with the other. So we're going to get started in your first chain with one, the next 
This is the second, your third, next four, the next is your fifth, your sixth, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And now your eleventh. You're going to go through your chain. Grab the band with the eye on it. I'm going to support it with my finger. And I'm going to do a slip knot. So I'm going to slide it, or a slip stitch. I'm going to slide it through all the bands that are on my hook. Grab the end. And slide. So I'm going to go on my next chain for chain twelve. Bring my band through. And all of the loops that are on your hook Grab the end, and slide. So now I'm, now I'm on 13. The next is 14. And the next is your eye, your 15th stitch, or chain. Grab, bring it through all of the loops that are on your hook. Grab the end, and slide. So now for your next one, you're changing color, so I'm gonna slide it through all of the bands that were on my hook and slide. And just continue around as you would normally on your hook. You have the three loops and slide. Your next and continue all the way to the stitch marker. You're going to remove, you should still have 24 stitches. For round nine of the head, we're just going to add one band to each chain around. This will be our last for 24 bands, 24 stitches. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this round with you. I'm going to go in my first chain. and then just continue with one band in each chain around. When you get to the white part, I'll show you what to do. So you're going to see two little chains. Your first one is your slip knot. You don't want to go in there. You want to go into the next one. So your actual chain. Grab your band and bring it through on your hook and slide. Because we did a slip knot with the green, you don't want to go into the little knot here. You want to go into the chain. And then you would do the same thing for the other eye. You're going to skip the first, which is your little knot, and go through your second on the white. Skip the little first little knot on the green and go through the chain. And now continue all the way around till you hit your stitch marker. You can remove your stitch marker, add it to the band around your hook, and I'm just going to move the, push the eyes through, unless you like to have them like this. It's up to you, but I'm going to go through the small little V and push the bead through, or the band, and the other eye. So it depends on the look that you like to have. For round 10 of the head, I'm going to increase on every fourth stitch. 
So the pattern is one, 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 two. One, 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 two. You're going to repeat this six times. At the end of round 10, you'll have 30 stitches. So I'm going to go in my first chain with one. Chain two with one. Chain three with one. Now chain four, you're going to add two bands one at a time. Back in. And repeat. One, 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 two. And repeat. One, 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 and then two. Just continue this pattern until you hit the stitch marker. Oops. Step 30 stitches. For rounds 11 and 12, you're just going to add one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. Each pile I have 30 bands, so at the end of these rounds you shall have 30 stitches. Um, I'm going to start round 12 with you. So you're going to go in your first chain with one rubber band. The next with one. And just continue all the way. I think that you can pause the video now and um, come back to me when you're done. You're just adding one band to each chain. When you hit your stitch marker, you just want to remove the stitch marker and add it to the band that would be around your hook. And then you can come back to me when you're done. So just continue all the way. For round 13, we're going to start to decrease. So the pattern is one, 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 four, and five together. One, 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 four, and five together. You're going to repeat this six times, and at the end of round 13, you'll have 24 stitches. So I'm going to go in the first three chains with one band. The next with one, and the next with one. Now take chains four and five and stitch together and repeat. One band in the next three chains four and five together. And again, repeat one, 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 four, and five together. 
and you're going to continue three more times. Remove your stitch marker. For round 14, the pattern of the head, the pattern is one, 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 five and six together. One, 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 five and six together. You're gonna to repeat this pattern four times. At the end of round 14, you'll have 20 stitches. Going in the first chain, with one. So you're just going to do four single crochets and one decrease. This is our second chain with one, our third chain with one, our fourth with one, and then take chains five and six and stitch together. Repeat one band in the next four chains. So this is my second with one, my third with one, my fourth with one, now five and six and stitch together. Repeat one, 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 five, and six together. You're going to do this one more time. Remove your stitch marker. You should have 20 stitches. For round 15 of the head, the pattern is you're going to do six single crochets one, 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 seven, and eight together. You're going to repeat that two times. Your last four stitches will have a single band in each chain. I'm going to go in the first chain and start the pattern with one. This is our second chain with one. Oops. Our third with one. Our fourth. Now our fifth. Our sixth and seven and eight and stitch together. Repeat this one more time. Six single crochets. Two, this is our third. Fourth. Our fifth. Our sixth. Now seven and eight stitch together. You'll have four left, four chains, one, two, three, and four. You're just adding one band. Our next. And the last. So you should have 18 stitches. 
for round 16 of the head, our last round, the pattern is one, two, and three together. One, two, and three together. Repeat this six times. At the end of this round, you'll have 12 stitches. In your last rubber band, you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed. I'm going to remove my stitch marker, sorry. And going in the first chain with one. Now, chains two and three, you want to stitch together. Repeat the pattern. One, two, and three together. Repeat. One, two, and three together. Continue this pattern until you hit the stitch marker. I'm at the last band, so I'm going to do a slip knot. So I'm going to take the last two chains and stitch together, because that was two and three. And I'm going to bring it through all of the loops that are on my hook, grab the end, and tie off. And now we can add some stuffing. I'm just going to remove this stitch marker. We no longer need it here. And you're going to get some stuffing and fill it. Don't put too much. You'll just make the head, um, you'll see the, you don't want to overstuff. You'll see the stuffing coming through the bands. You'll have a floppy head, a heavy head. You just want enough to have that shape. And if you want to see, you can just kind of roll it. And the stuffing that comes out, then you know that you have too much. And I'm okay with that. Now we're going to sew the head to the body. So with your hook, you're going to use 12 bands because you have 12 stitches on both your body and 12 stitches on your head. So 12 bands. With your hook, I'm going to go through the loop on the back, but I'm going to start right here. So you're going to count from your slip knot one, two, and three. And that's where I'm going to start on the back. On your head, on the head, you're going to start two bands from the slip knot. So you're going to see the slip knot, one and two, and you're going to go through that chain. And you're going to grab one band and bring it through all of the loops that are on your hook. Grab the end and slide. And now you're going to sew all the way around. So you're going to go through the loops on the body and then you're going to go through the loop on the head. So you have one more to go before your slip knot. Bring a band through. Grab the end. Now you have three loops and you're going to slide. You're going to grab the body first the loop on the head and bring your next band through the head, the body, grab the end and slide. So always grab the loops on the body first and then the head and bring a band through the head, through the body. Oops, I dropped my stitch. One second, I'm going to do that again. Bring it through on your hook and slide. Body, head, body, head, body. 
body, head, body, head, body, head, and your last band you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed, body, head, you're going to bring your band through all of the loops that are on your hook, Grab the end and tie it off. And now I'm going to have some empty space here with no stuffing. So you can just go through and pull the stuffing up to the neck gently. And now you're going to do that by grabbing some stuffing from the head. And now the head's on. So now we're going to stuff the, the arms. I've done one, and I've only stuffed it about halfway up. So I stopped right here with the stuffing. And then I'm going to add three bands. These will be our sewing bands. I'm going to use a pencil to help me out. So I'm going to get a little bit of stuffing and open it up and push it through. And then with my pencil, I'm just going to push down to the bottom and just add a little bit more. And just have it halfway up. Just like that. Now, I'm going to add three sewing bands and I'm going to go through, not the loops beside your slip knot, I'm going to go through one side and out the other, bring a band through and do a slip knot. The chain right beside it, making sure that you're grabbing four loops. Grab a band and do a slip knot. And then right beside that, you're going to do the same thing on the side here. So these will be your four sewing bands. Now to attach the arms, I'm going to put them to the side down like this, and your arm we want to have kind of in the center of the head here. Now I need to find four loops on the body that will be equal to the head, the center. So I'm just going to go right about here, one, two, three, and four, and I'm going to bring these loops through. So maybe I'm just going to go a little bit lower, I'm going to go right here. and grab one loop and bring it through. Go through the next loop, bring it through, and you want to slide it through. The next loop on the body, grab your sewing band and bring it through, and then the last, bring it through. Just check to make sure that it's in a good placement. And now I'm just going to turn them around and I'm going to grab a loop on the body and a single band and I'm going to do a slip knot. And give it a tug. And just check to make sure that's in a good spot. 
If your arm's sticking out too much, it's probably just because you have a little bit too much stuffing in it. So mine is kind of sticking up. So I'm just going to move some of the stuffing up to the top. And maybe I'm just going to remove some of the stuffing. Just a little bit, pinch it down. And with a pencil, you can kind of just push back in. And that's better. Now to do the other arm. We want to make sure that our arms are even. So we don't want one back here and one over, like over here. So you, you're going to want to compare. So I'm going to measure in the center of the head. We want to make sure that we're even around. You're going to find four stitches on the body. So I think I'm going to start about here and bring my band through. And I'm just going to make sure I'm the same height. The next stitch, bring it through. The next stitch, and the last. Before I do that slip knot, I just want to make sure that they're okay. I'm going to turn it around and grab a stitch on the body and bring a band through and do a slip knot. And that should be okay. And then you can just hide these bands. I'm just going to go through the arm, grab the band and hide it through. And you can do the same thing with this one and you can hide this one too as well.